Hi, it's Marilena Natchew, and I'm pleased to provide the highlights of the November 9th, 2021 Council meeting. As always, you can find Council meeting minutes, agendas, and videos at our website at sturgeoncounty.ca. We opened with Committee of the Whole and a presentation from the Northern Lights Library System, which continues to serve our community. Rural libraries and the free access to internet that they provide has been a lifeline to rural communities throughout the pandemic, and we are proud to fund this important service. Mega Energy, a Bitcoin mining company, also made a presentation to explain their potential plans to expand into Sturgeon County. Council had many questions about their operations and we will be working to resolve any concerns before decisions are made. Finally, Committee of the Whole received the annual recommendations from the Transportation Advisory Committee. The committee has made five recommendations going forward for Council to consider on everything from gravel road maintenance to dust suppression to better public engagement. Safe, reliable roads are a priority for this Council and we look forward to continuing to work with TAC to continue to improve this core service. I also want to thank the members of this committee for their hard work and dedication to Sturgeon County. The remaining focus of today's meeting was on the land use bylaws, which is basically our rule book for how land is managed in the county. Two of the three bylaws presented were essentially housekeeping items, including amendments to land use descriptions to better reflect how a parcel is being used or to align with other statutory plans. We also discussed a request for a temporary redistricting of a property in the Sturgeon Valley area for recreational vehicle storage. Council gave first reading to the three, three bylaws and public hearings for the public to provide input will be scheduled at a later date. Public input is important to us and I would again encourage people to put their names forward to sit on any council boards or committees. It's a great opportunity for you to learn more about the issues and the opportunities in the county and amplify the voice of county residents. More information on board and committee recruitment along with application forms can be found at sturgeoncounty.ca slash getonboard. Deadline to apply is Friday, November 12th. And remember, there's still time to complete the agribusiness agritourism survey at sturgeoncounty.ca slash agrireview. And you have until November 21 to get your feedback in on that. Our next council meeting isn't until November 30th, but council will be meeting November 17th, 18th and 19th for the 2022 budget deliberations. Information on the budget meetings, including a link to watch the meeting via live video, will be on our website at sturgeoncounty.ca. This week we recognize the people who have served in the military, past and present. While we are all familiar with November 11th as Remembrance Day, November 8th is National Indigenous Veterans Day. It's a day to recognize Indigenous people who served in the Canadian military. The First Nations, Inuit and Métis have long and proudly served this country's military. On behalf of Sturgeon County and Council and Administration, I wish to extend thanks and appreciation to all of those who have sacrificed for our country, both past and present. And while we are humbled and indebted to those who have died in service to our country, it's important to also recognize those who have come home and who continue to serve in other ways. To quote Agnes MacPhail, patriotism is not dying for one's country, it is living for one's country and for humanity. Perhaps that is not as romantic, but it is better. This is a quote worth considering in lighting our current circumstances on many fronts. Stay well, thank a veteran for their service and their sacrifice, and I look forward to seeing you next time.